What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today I'm really excited to try this deck. This is going to be the Spam Shark deck. And we are spamming in several ways. Let me explain first the premise. Is that Shark gets the most value possible when first of all you teleport it in and you have a bunch of little guys spread all over the board and then all of them are not only going to be killing whatever they uh, touch uh, because whenever anything on the plant side gets damaged while the Sharktronic sub is on the board it will die instantaneously but then the Sharktronic will also grow in the water lane get a lot of attack, do attacks, you can use bonus attacks as a finisher. We're not doing any of the regular shtick uh, that we typically do with sharks. Obviously, there's no fireworks or barrel of dead beards in this deck because this is not infinity. We're not even running trapper territory or rooster. Instead, we're really focusing on getting that spam going. And the best way to get spam going is really two ways. One is imps, and the second is conjure, and we're running both of them in this deck. Space time is going to be conjuring a lot of cards that are cheap. That's the point. The Galactic Garden uh, set has a very low curve. Uh, and you're going to be able to conjure these cards and they're going to be cheap. Same thing with the Duck Stash. This is going to be uh, conjuring cheap cards to spam all over the field. Imposter is a cheap card that conjures another cheap card. It's also a mustache. Only mustache in this deck, uh, which is important for the Duck Stash if you want to upgrade this. I'll get into that a little bit more. But the same thing is with Imp Throwing Imp. This just throws Imps all over, especially if this bumps into a team up or into a very low attack zombie. This will throw a lot of Imps and it's very good at spamming. Um, the Toxic Waste Imp will make your Imps uh, deadly. You're not running a ton of Imps in this deck, but you do have these two. You also have the Iron Border. Uh, but it itself, just teleporting this in front of anything, it's a cheap, really cheap way of removing something. Uh, toxic Waste Imp just to put in front of any, you know, medium to large sized plant. Uh, a very cool uh, thing that's going to be opening up combos in this deck is going to be the Medulla Nebula. So uh, you obviously can just play Buried Treasure into that. So Nebula, you play it on turn three, and then on turn four, you play Buried Treasure. Now all of a sudden you have five. And then you can play a Space Time onto the Buried Treasures. Now you're conjuring a Legendary that's cheaper, and you can teleport it in uh, earlier than you normally would be able to. You're going to be getting a lot of your you know, late game cards, let's say, uh, from Buried Treasure or possibly from Space Time or from the uh, Duck Stash. Uh, the other thing you can do with this big ramp combo is ramp to shark. There's another very cool combo too, and that's and we've had a lot of success doing this, is that you play Buried Treasure into the Nebula, which gives you an extra brain. So it's turn four, now you have five. Then you play exactly Imposter or one of the imps that were conjured from Imposters. Now you have six, and then you're able to play on top of that mustache, you're able to play into the nebula again. So that's giving you a 5-4 in the board, which is going to be conjuring you more cards. It costs 3, but it gives you back 2, so it's at very little cost, and then you're able to teleport in even more things that turn, or spend your money, you know, your brains using bonus attacks, etc. Let's get into the game. Hopefully we can spam, spam, and ramp, uh, and get a lot of value out of Shark. I really, Shark is such a high potential card. It's expensive, so you don't want to just Throw it on the board on turn six, but getting it early, especially teleporting it in on an early turn, is going to be huge value if you have a spam board. Uh, so let's get right into the game, and we will do some bets tonight. Uh, let's say uh, these games are going to take forever, so let's do eight games. If you think we're going to win six out of eight, vote yes. Five out of eight is going to be a no. Be here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash prime up, where we bet our fries. Uh, this is looking good into Citron. Guardian is very weak into Toxic Waste and Minsta. Let's get rid of you. <sighs> gonna opt out of that teleport. Alright, so we're gonna HG Super on turn one. Easy. Uh, that's a terrible environment. Come on, Bucket Bay. Come on, be better. I wish I had that teleport back. I don't really see what we're doing here, so I'm going to spam Toxic Waste and then I'll set up for future turns. Man, we didn't really get any of our space time or anything like that. Unfortunately. There's Toxic. Do, 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 do. So we can teleport this in somewhere else. Maybe even give it the bucket bay to protect it. If he plays the team up, we can also just bonus attack our way through here. Which is worth it. 
Definitely going to do that. Yoink. Goodbye. We'll save the teleport instead of putting in a toxic waste on a ground lane. Not a great idea. Instead, we will save that for the Grandpa Shark. So, space time looks awfully good. Just with space time, we, we'll just hold on to the imposter. If we need to teleport in an emergency, we'll do that. Otherwise, these two are playing around shrinking pilot. We space these out. We can also use the bucket bay. Ooh, is that worth teleporting? To make him not, you know, we're drawing cards. To make him not draw cards. I think it is. I think that is a good teleport imposter. And we are able to set up the buried treasure for next turn. That's going to be awesome. Okay, this is a very interesting card to get in this deck. This is the Space Ninja. Then if it's in an environment, which we do have one in hand, it's going to be splashing all over the board. It's, if you can pull this off with Shark, it's very difficult to do, but it pays the big dividends. He mogged the two... <laughs> that's great. I don't need that anymore. Oh my gosh, okay. So that's fun. Oh, what do we do now? Um, <laughs> I'm gonna set this up right now. The Bucket Bay can protect this two health minion. There's a ten. There's a nine. Eight cost Garg Feast. It got reduced by oh because of the teacher. So it's actually reduced by three. One from space time. One from buried treasure. And it's a trick. So, so now what do we do? We play this, I guess. All right, I don't think we play the Toxic Waste Imp yet. That's okay. Let's, let's uh, do the Cone Zone and start the Splash. Now it's not, it's not killing anything yet. Oh, I kind of wish I had a Teleport right now. Teleport Shark would be pretty brutal. I mean, we could just shark here. I guess this is okay. Just shark and toxic waste him. Screw it. Just spam. The shark is pretty good here. If he deals with the shark, plays a sham rocket, he really won't have much to do for the toxic waste him. He can't go after the shark with a, a unit either because then the, the ninja just kills everything. We were playing shark on ground like that, but hey. We got a teacher in the water. So, okay. Doesn't even kill the environment. Okay. <laughs> yeah, give it extra health. That'll help. That'll protect it from shark eventually. So he doesn't have an answer to shark. I don't know what that play was. But yeah, that's dead. Shark grows. That's dead. Shark grows again. This should proc the block. He already used his Mog, so none of those powers are playable. Either he's got Citron Super or Root Wall. He played Walnut too, right? That was the Walnut he played in lane one. So that's awesome. Um, we could just play Shark. We can also play Duck Stash. I, I think we're just gonna Shark. Shark number two. It's not like you can Doom Shroom. We still have a lot of damage. <laughs> this guy can't do anything, is right. This hot lava also kills anything because of the shark, so that's awesome. Uh, okay. He is protected! <laughs> Barely. <laughs> okay. All right, GG, we got... <laughs> that's a good first game. Kind of everything we wanted out of the game. Well, we didn't do the ramp, so we'll definitely get into that in a bit. Gotta get those nebulas. Ah, uh, That was cool. Yoink. 
Very cool indeed. Very, very cool indeed. Solar flare. Did you try to make a dex with your favorite card and least favorite card in each try? I don't get it. Here's some buried treasures. Uh, maybe I'll get rid of one. I guess this is an okay hand. Uh, these imps, these like toxic waste imps are kind of sad in a solar flare. This is very good though. So we'll do that. We'll do one of those. La, 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 la. All right. Now I'm singing Toxic. That's how it works. Okay, here we go. So, what's it gonna be? Uh, teleportation zombie. Faux show. Will allow us to make the teleporting in deadly imps plays things. Like, should I play around Berry Blast and actually put something here? I, I guess so. We can always teleport in a Toxic Waste and Direct Lane Lane for if you banana bombs this one. Scorch. And then banana bomb here. Probably. Yoink. So it's just toxic waste. We have three, so we can... It doesn't have to be protected, you know? The good trade. Free. Uh, yeah. For now, we are just stalling. Gotta look for those wind conditions. Nothing. Uh, yeah, let's just... Do we even need to spend a teleport here? Oh, uh, maybe a bonus attack will be good, I don't know why. <laughs> Whoops. Ow. <gasps> um... I kind of want to do this teleport ninja bonus attack play next turn, though. So we can get a damage off of it. It's supposed to now, it's just four. I think that's what we're gonna do. Guys, it's a mini trickster. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's the dream. We top deck a second bonus attack. You guys know what this means, right? Dong. No, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he screwed it up. I'm very upset. This has still got to be worth it, though, right? <laughs> Die! Die! That would have been lethal if he didn't heal. Well, uh, <laughs> he would have blocked anyway. Oh, well. Did you do a deck showcase with the built-in strategy decks? I did a tier list, and I've done try to win with the what I consider to be the worst ones. Does that count? This is interesting to play shark here, man. I don't know. I feel like I need something that's not shark. We could just go for a buried treasure setup. Let's see what we can get. Why is our life always in the hands of guard feet? You know, I'm just gonna spam this. We are spamming him now at eight health and no block meter is a good thing. We'll just be using resources. We're literally just stalling for guard feet now. I hate this card. Even at ten, this is not a good card. But, but it might win us the game. So who am I to complain? <sighs> All right, here we go. 
<laughs> this was turn. This costs six, right? So seven. And we'll be up to a like block and HG super will do this. I don't know. You squash that. So there's this. Oh boy. Oh boy. That doesn't help whatsoever. One more turn, guys. One more turn. I, we're just playing for guard fee, so I'm gonna actually block the 4-2 instead of setting up the teleportation station. Huh? I'm scared. I am very scared. <laughs> oh, no. I think this goes here, maybe? Uh, because the guard could land in it and it's least likely to die, I don't know. Honestly, the chances of winning right now are so low because we just die from this, from both of these. So, we basically just need Zombot. If we get Zombot, we'll be fine. We'll win the game. If not, then yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> Isn't that, guys? In Guard Feast, we trust. Come on, Zombot. Come on. So good. Oh. Oh, that wasn't... That wasn't bad. First of all, everything gets frenzied. So we're putting up some damage. These two trade. We got six damage in lane two. And here's in five. Woo -hoo -hoo. Just like that, we're in the game. Let's go. <laughs> We still have a teleport, so we can surprise him with something. That was like a below average guard feast if you're just looking at the cards. No, that doesn't do enough. He needs to put something still in lane three. Okay. We're still blocking, so we're still fine. I mean, like, Toptic Shark would obviously be amazing here. Uh, prevent him from blocking the block. Hell yeah. Yoink. If we win this game, guys, another teleport. Who knows what's in the box? Come on, Shark. Shark's the only card that really does four damage in this deck. I take a, a Duck Stash any day, though. We, we have a teleport and a dream. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Not Cornucopia. Oh, it's actually pretty good against HG. 8-1. Um... Yeah, that is not what the doctor ordered, folks. That's guaranteed lethal for him. Because even if we block and get guy, he still wins. Come on, guard feet. Not good enough. Terrible. The <laughs> guard feet almost got us back into the game. You know, he healed for like eight that game. With one fewer taco, we would have had that guy. All right. A very exciting game, too. And let's... Let's get back into it here. You don't know that? Why is this still playing? We shouldn't be playing. Alright, here we go. So we're one on one. He beat us fair and square. Too bad. <laughs> Whenever you get that teleport and you're in a top depth scenario, it's like, it's the game's telling you, oh, you wanted to see what you're gonna get? You wait. You just sit there and be patient. I'll tell you in a second. Okay. Okay. See, this is a little bit more of HG of a hand, you know? This is a real HG hand. I think what we're going to do is play the space times in four and in one. So we can play around Shrinking Violet. So I'm going to set this up here. There's a very cool combo where you play this on one, then you play space time into it on two. And if they somehow deal with the space time, well, they can't. They can't remove space time. If they block space time, you're at least getting that teleport. And if they cover the environment, then space time basically just goes face. And if they bounce space time off the board with exactly this card, then you lose. That's basically how the game works. Thanks for thanks for joining me, guys. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. All right, let's just work in a different lane right now. We'll, we'll develop into here eventually, but it's just too slow to play into that card. Four costs, we are protected. Let's try to not get that block busted and we'll be good to go. 
And he got hammered from light speed seed. So far, everything in this game is going perfectly. Just swell, guys. The only thing this guy really needs is Blockbuster. <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't deal with it, guys. All right, well, we're playing this, and we're teleporting in space time. It's the half measure. If this gets Blockbusted, it's not as bad. Okay, so we've played three cards, and he's had three answers so far. Uh, this way we can at least teleport in the either Toxic Waste and Compo or teleport in this. If he doesn't have another gray flick. Oh, come on. Okay. This is when this hurts a zombie, not when a zombie hurts this. Alright, so space time is just going here. There's no need to... Should I develop this already, though? Okay, well. Yoink! Give me something good, space time. No more guard feet. Hey, you can't really get guard feet, but you guys... You guys... You know you know. We actually get the teleportation zombie back in our hand, so I think overall this bounce is a good thing. I don't really play he protected this 2-1. This lane is pretty much locked down. It's kind of overkill. But anyway. I mean, we could do this play. Well, we don't have teleport shark yet. I'm not going to do it like this. Zero, two, and we are protected. And it'll also transform the the interdimensional zombie. Now, I'm pretty sure the interdimensional zombie itself will not be protected. Ori just has every answer. What is this deck? No, for real, man. He's had every single answer. Come on. Give me a break. Give me a break. And this doesn't even really do a lot. Just does six damage to this card. We'll get this back in our hands. Oh! That was terribly sad. What is happening in this game, man? It doesn't feel like he's ahead because he hasn't developed anything, but he's completely shut us down. It's probably just a deck with Dragon. Him shutting us down is going to be successful. Still not smelling the shark. I'd like the shark to be in five. Bro, leave me alone. Let me cook. Let a man cook. <laughs> he won't let me cook. He won't let me cook. It's against his policy. You know what? You don't let me cook? I don't let you cook. What do you think about that? Biatch. Plus we have pot now. Uh, this does... Having a couple of teleportation zombies on the board, or at least one, it, it just makes the dragon a lot less good next turn. Uh, this goes back in our hands. <laughs> Maintaining the card advantage. <laughs> Maybe not the tempo. But the card advantage is there. <laughs> How do we do this? I mean, this won't be damaging this card, so this will actually can be developed here. Hopefully he doesn't have the blockbusters coming in now. We're protected again, so that's not doing anything. Why is he running Cosmic Dean? What is this guy running? Where did this come from, by the way? V-Rex. He got... Oh. He got some cheese, is what he got. Got that cheese. I don't know what to do here. I don't want this proccing the block, so I think we're just gonna shove that there. Yoink. We're still only doing two damage. He's doing five. That primal dies. Uh <laughs> this is not this guy's not letting me cook. Uh we'll prevent this damage here if he kills something, and then we can teleport in the shark. Yes, please do that. 
Thank you. <laughs> Board space. Uh, or we'll just teleport in an imp, because why not? There's no point in shark. So let's use the buried treasure here. And then imp throwing imp. It's not as good as the toxic. Okay, here's a card. Here's a card. There's nothing left to do here. Unless we top deck a teleport. Or a bonus attack. Uh, so we're usually... This will die. We don't get the imp, but it's fine. Uh, this will do proc the block usually. We might get freeze here, which is nice. Yes! Oh, maybe I should have froze here, though. Was that stupid? Was that dumb? Because this is like his win condition? I don't know what this deck is. This is the spam versus spam. This should have. What is the... Oh, this proc is block. Oh, that's good. So now what? We can't ever block this, but we might need to teleport a couple things in. I do want this to die this turn, though. Uh, I guess even if we teleportation zombie, we can always shark. Alright, this will be our contingency for teleporting in a bunch of things against Bounce this turn. Like that. <laughs> Uh, I think we got him with the Viking, though. Pretty sure we got this guy. Because he's just doing 5, 6, 7. Viking wins, straight up. We can also Shark if we want to be fancy, which I do. I definitely want to win with Shark here. Uh, this will do 6 damage. Got him. And there's no block meter consideration. It's empty. Cool. Strike through Shark for the win. Yoink. We go down to five, shark goes up to seven. <laughs> Mine's better, look. Way better. Shark was like through beam. <laughs> Guys, the shark with a laser beam on its face. Austin Powers is crazy. <laughs> oh, I'm so old. I am such a boomer. Such a millennial, actually. Got him. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> Do I keep Shark? No, we need to get the spam going, you know? This is good. We'll keep one. Now we now we got the hand. It's just the, the hand. Let's see if we can actually knock it. Well, he's not gonna have primal pea shooter this time, so that's good. So this goes here now, because there's no everything's different when there's no smarty cards. Eat smart. Yeah, so we get both. He has nothing to do on turn two. Maybe he had a, you know, a very blast, which he decided not to waste here. But yeah, that's that's strong, man. Oh, that's a good space time too. So we're gonna go space time. I'm gonna just save the teleport, I think. But this is such a strong play. Because the spade time... Well, first of all, 5 cost Plank Walker. We can teleport it in uh, in two turns. You see this? Well, GG, if you're not gonna play PvZ Heroes, you're not gonna win. You have to play. You gotta cook, bro. We, we got one cost. <laughs> I don't know what this guy's doing. Not really sure. Yeah, we're almost at 100k on YouTube. It's pretty hype. I definitely need to kill this guy death by plank walker. I mean, come on. Come on. We actually have more teleports. I'm going to teleport this one in instead of playing into his thing. He's trying to do some BS. Uh, might as well spend the one coster. Oh, that's a cool shark. 
Uh, we'll play this here. So this card will cost two less, whatever it conjures. Please be expensive. Don't just be a dumb little imp. Be like a nice big... Mm, I mean... It's a 3-3-2 three, three, cost 3-3 three, three protect them. I guess that's not bad. Uh, that's one cost area 22 now. That's what I'm talking about. It's teleport plank walker on turn 5. It's what's up. That is... <laughs> this guy's still setting up. This guy's not... He's going, going for Dandelion King next turn. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so it's teleport. Is there a way to make this even more evil? Should this plank walker be on the ground or on water? I think we we made a calculation a long time ago that the water pirates are are, are usually better. Also, they usually don't have strike through. All right, this will be fine. That's turn five plank walker, ladies and gents. <laughs> so much for them being better. Other than Swabby, they're all pretty decent. Uh. Watch the plank walker get blocked here too. Look, space time's gonna hit. Yep, and plank walker gets blocked. <laughs> and we're milled. Oh no no! If he dandelion kings, it's gonna be very bad. We're milled. I can't. I can't actually deal with this right now. No 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 no! Wait, wait 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 wait! It's gonna be four dandelion kings, and we can't block if our life depended on it. No. Oh, okay. It's just Astro Shroom. It's fine. He gets four Astro Shrooms, but it doesn't have any board space. What do you think he has? Sonic Bloom? What is he gonna have? I'm not scared. I'm not, sc I'm not scared. Do I look scared? We have 13 health. 12? 11? 10? No, 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 no. Slow down! Slow it down! Slow it down! Eight, seven, six, five, don't! Oh, okay, we're fine. We're good. Wait. No, 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 no! Oh my god. Does he have. No! 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 Four, three, no! No! No, we have. <laughs> Really? With two team ups in hand, just to ice that. Where did all of my help go? <laughs> I have never seen five Aspera troops for the win in my entire life. What in the world? No, 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 no. That did not just happen, guys. That did not just happen. <laughs> <laughs> There's no... Freaking way, guys! Chat, the chat. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Infrasonic's enjoying that one. I bet you he is. I'm so happy. I was here for the game of the year. That was ridiculous. That was just ridiculous. I'm <laughs> just writing that down. <laughs> anyway, oh. That was ridiculous. <laughs> so we're two and two now. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> I love my job. Not a good card against Solar Flare. Alright, this will be fine. See, I don't do highlight matches anymore. But so that 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 might be the exception. I think it is. See if he has Scorch. Uh, bro? He super space to do that play. Uh, ow. Uh, that cost one because space time was on the board at the time of Conjure. <laughs> I'll ask. I'll ask. I really want to do the Nebula play, but I kind of want to do the Ghost play. Honestly, I have to set up Nebula here. This hand is... <laughs> this is a very Nebula hand. We'll take the four damage. We'll have eight health left, whatever, after this turn. I don't know. It depends what he does. And uh, we'll hopefully make the comeback next turn, man. Uh, oh, no. Hello, oh, no! Alright, so here's the combo I was telling you guys about. First, we give him one of these. Then we give him this. And we got Valk. I need something I can use immediately. I don't think the Valk is very good there. Is there even a point in doing this anymore? <sighs> no, 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 no. <sighs> Not really. <sighs> what a sad con. I really need to play this card here. I could get it up to 5-4, so he's not able to just clear this. Is that worth it, though? I guess it is. We'll get some more cards coming up. And sad. We might have enough to play second Nebula. <sighs> There's the Berry Blast he would have played otherwise. And we're kind of without a steam because we very blasted that one. But luckily, we at least draw a card. Can we just get something expensive, maybe? It's just more ramp. Uh, that's really good for us, though. Because it does give us another card. Sailings. Yay. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing right now. We can still alien is, I guess. Buff shrimp? Molecule. Bro. <laughs> we can alien is the two five. It's about as good as it gets here. Uh, the opponent is out of steam, running Molecule with Haunted Pumpkin. I'm not really sure what that's about. Okay. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing here. Get the next card. Yeah, Valk not really getting it done here. But who knows, there's still his time. Shroom for two. Shroom for two. Uh -huh. I don't know why, there's no real point in this having extra anything. Uh, okay. 
He did one damage. Yay! Uh, this man doesn't know I have Valk though, so he's just killing everything. I guess that's good. This can never die. Uh, here, and then Ghost Valk, which does 10. <laughs> Should probably burn this teleport right now, right? Let's see what's in the box for us here. Great, third Nebula. Just what, just what the doctor ordered. Do I go face with this Valk for 10 here? Or do I kill this? I think I just wait on the Valk. I think we're gonna do this and nothing. I still have the Nebula, there's no point. We are gonna Valk next turn for 14, which is better. So that prevented damage, killed that strike through card that's gaining attack every turn. And Valk's at 14. I guess that's good. I want to be ninja. So if he kills teleportation zombie, we win. Brr. I want to be ninja. Chop, chop, chop from down, chop from down to Chinatown. What am I gonna do here? I mean, this just kills. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, the guy is kind of toast, so maybe we should just spam Valk into him. Probably should. He doesn't really have any any beans left. Uh, he'll get one Punisher shot. Hopefully, he doesn't go face. I think face is the worst for us because it procs the block. <laughs> now we can get like Elderberry or Estricata or and win basically. I want to be ninja. Of course, our battle guns about heights, so we can't strike through. I want to be ninja. Berry blast to face, and then he'll get a shot. Actually, no, we'll strike through here and we'll win. If he got berry blast, I think we're fine. I want to be ninja. He doesn't seem to have a minion because he's, I don't know, this guy's thinking long and hard about this play. <laughs> I don't know what he got. Hey, well, he quit. He didn't have anything. <laughs> I'll take the win at this point. I'll take any win. We're three and two. <sighs> Actually getting obliterated by five Astro Shrooms. Yay! We won! We won! La 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 la. La, la, la. Mm. Super, super, super. And then we have teleport him in case he like wins some flowers or something. That's a cool card. <coughs> Maybe we'll set this up regardless. Ding dong, boom boom, boom boom, down down. What the heck? I want to be ninja. I want to be ninja. I don't know. I, I imp throwing imp is okay here, but I kind of don't want to feed the freeze. I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna do this. Let's not feed the freeze. Because he's also running freeze, I think we teleport this in though. Oh, I should have developed this. Whoops! To get the bigger one. Duh. 
It's okay. This is fine on its own. And it's a conjure machine now. It looks like he's trying to set up freezes. Let's see what happens here. Nebula, maybe? Who's this? <clears throat> I think we knit Nebula into Spam Spam Teleport Shark. Looks pretty good. <clears throat> so it's going to be cost six. If we play this, we'll have six. So let's go with you. You. And tell a shark. It's good to me. This way if he doesn't freeze these things, they're gonna just die. This is the best way to shark. You gotta surprise him with it. He's freezing that one. It moves here though. <laughs> Yoink. Ow. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's still teleport shark. We have a decent chance of getting the dude, the uh, the guy to kill this thing on the bluff. We get the dude. No, we didn't get the dude. We didn't get it. Get another imp. Some face. Chance of having two freezes this turn is not so high. I think it's gonna be like this. And like, we'll actually have two options here. Maybe I should have toxic waste him to there. Actually, it doesn't matter as long as the shark is alive. Hmm. Huh. I don't really think this one through very well. I think it's like this. Does have monk. Papa Parazzi, Papa Parazzi. A very sad Jolly Holly. I don't really even see the point of that. So this is hitting face. I mean, this thing's still growing, but whatever. This is still throwing an extra imp. I don't really get it. Don't block that. I need that card. Come on, block meter. <laughs> Come on. Okay. We. Now what happens? There's Mini Ninja. That Jolly Holly, huh? I don't know about that. I think you saved that there. So we go Shark. And just Guy to face. It's good to me. <sighs> Getting ready for impact? Give this man a winter squash. Uh, freezing this? I don't think he knows that this... His 11-9 dies, but yeah, I guess he needed to prevent face there, right? Wow, so the shark is just going to carry us back into this one here. Him throwing imp is still throwing imp, so it's going to throw another one here. So that's dead. Yeah, I needed to block the 5 damage or else it's just dead here. So that's awesome. Tona just ran out of answers, man. 
That environment doesn't do anything, of course. And here's seven effects. I do like our odds right now. Oh, we got pop! <laughs> Let's go! I love pop. Maybe we'll get a teleport and be able to teleport something in. That would be awesome. <laughs> it's funny though. That was funny. That was hilarious. Yes! You wanna see Freeze? I'll show you Freeze. We beat Rose! We're four and two. Bitches. Yes! Yoink! <laughs> can I can I ask the chat? The chat's got a little dark vibe in it, right? Now. You know, the chat. I'm not gonna point people out in particular. You know who you are. Lift the mood a little bit. A little, little less pessimism. Come on, guys. The set's doing great. We lost a couple of games to some Bia. Everything's fine. We're having fun. This is a very fun deck. This deck has Conjure. It's using Shark effectively, which is great. Shark just won us the game there. This is awesome, guys. Cheer up a little. You know? Where are we at? What was the name of the last rose? Something 68? It's a different guy. This is another rose. I want some real BS on this this one. I want some actual BS value. Probably why are you streaming so late? I was busy today. I'm really actually prioritizing doing my variety stream during the day and then streaming later at night. Just because if I stream during the day, I don't have any time to and I don't have any energy left to do the, the Roblox. So yeah. Um, should I feed right now into Twin Sunflower? I mean, I don't have an answer to it, but maybe I can scare him by passing it. I don't really need the teleportation zombie, so. Let's make him play around beating me up. A little mind games. The past mind games. It's a little silly playing that, you know, I'm, I'm just ranked because no one thinks that your opponent's playing around. I don't know. People kind of just do their thing here, you know? So there's a lot less mind games you can play. <laughs> but maybe that makes the mind games more effective. He doesn't think I'm passing for no for, to play mind games on I him. Mean, he thinks I'm passing because I have beam me up. But this guy didn't have anything for three turns, so. Are you ready to rumble? Is you ready to rumble? So I think we could just play the space time here. If we play this one, then we'll have six. We can theoretically teleport in a bigger minion, but nah, well, this card actually costs less. Yeah, this is fine. So I think we have teleport supernova guard here. We actually do. Uh, we and they do. So let's do that. Wow, long more. So this will go on heights. There's no need to, um, Spam the imp here. We can always do that next turn. I want to be ninja. Alright, so let's do these two. And we'll see what we get. And uh, likely we're going to see shark here. Oh, <laughs> interdimensional zombie is another card that combos here. <laughs> See, he sort of has to deal with this, which means there's less resources to deal with this one. Which is very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Is this science? Alright. He usually has to go after lane one. If he goes after lane four, we lose a lot of the brains this turn, but it's okay. Because then we're still hitting for five, and they have a supernova guard that's unaccounted for. Hmm. <laughs> 
It's only turn five. It's, he can't even like have Ganon in here. He can go to buy that. It's totally fine. That's what we wanted to see. And this is nice. The the shark will proc the uh, <laughs> the the. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> so. Oh, we'll do this next turn. Actually, if we... Hold on. We'll be at four. We'll have six. Can we do all this? Four. We'll have six. And we'll have star. Is this crazy? I'm doing it. <laughs> stupid. Wait, does this just mean the shark gets blocked this turn, though? No, I should have just done shark. Uh, all right. Oh, cards. I'll take cards. Can I play this? It's an imp. I need to eat the cards. God damn it. Maybe Shark will roll one. Here's a bonus today. Yeah, I screwed that one up royally. As a matter of fact. Well, we drew the card off of it. This is okay. This is fine. This, this is fine. Uh, let's play this in case he goes after the telly zombie and... Alright, well, we, we overthink things. Overthunk things, as usual. Five and two, let's go. We're in a five and two scenario. This is the last game coming up. Couldn't have gone any other way. <laughs> Grammar Nazi here. It's not less resources, it's fewer resources. Thank you very much, Stanis Baratheon. I hope. That's the joke from the Game of Thrones. I don't know if you guys, Onion Knight, were. Stanis Baratheon. First, he corrected Onion Knight and he said less, and he said no, it's not less, it's fewer. And then, like, four seasons later, he was talking with, I think it was Queen Targaryen or Queen, Queen Elizabeth, whatever the heck her name was. Queen crazy, good, crazy, crazy shoes on her, period. I don't know what was going on with her that day. Guys, I don't know. Just don't, don't, just don't. I don't know, man. Was, she was going through something. <laughs> but, um, and then he was like, no, it's not less, it's fewer. It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, ah! <laughs> it didn't make any sense. You already won the war. You already won. <laughs> she was just, <laughs> no. She was having some serious, serious cramps. It's the only explanation, guys. It's the only explanation for that scene. I'm sorry if I just ruined Game of Thrones for you, but don't watch it. Watch seasons one through four and then throw it away. Don't watch anything past that. There's nothing worth watching after, after that. <sighs> this is another rose, yeah, for real. Uh, uh, what? Colonel Pult? No, nothing. Just, just nothing. Just no, no, just bleh. just weed whack. Just weed whack teleportation zombie, and then. I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't get it. Uh, teleporting in space time. <laughs> Yoink. Now I'll do this. Keep the conjuring go. No, it's not the same guy. It's separate roses. Nah, seasons one through four Game of Thrones, you gotta watch that. That's the best. That is the best anything ever. There's never been a, a better thing than that. That's how good it was. I think we teleport these in. There's very little risk in going in. We even have a teleport in our pocket, so in case he somehow deals with both of these, which he won't. Let's be clear, he's not going to. Can we even do some stupid nebula stuff here? Uh, three... Then we'll be up to, so we'll be at two, we'll be at three. We'll still be at three, we can develop toxic waste in. There's no real point. <laughs> la, 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 la. 
uh, zero cost teleportation zombie, and zero cost disco dance floor. <laughs> Ain't that nice? <laughs> here's my here's my game theory for for Game of Thrones, guys. She was on her period, okay? <laughs> you can't blame her. It's not her fault. She had ladies' problems, okay? Wait, this has overshoot five, <laughs> and now it doesn't stack? It's the most useless card. Overshoot a thousand. <laughs> what am I going to do here? Let's just toxic waste him so we can keep spamming this road since we can't really do any significant damage here. <laughs> should I should I go strike through here just to keep the spam going? Yeah, I'll keep the spam going. Yes. Look, I'm not laughing at opponents. The last time an opponent did nothing, that with his hands in his pants for, for seven turns, he killed me on turn eight. No, it was turn six, right? It was turn six. Okay, he's 20 damage. Yay! You want to see freeze? I still get overshoot, so I win. I, I won lane three. Yeah. Opponent's down to 11. Heal through that. I have nothing to do, though. I need... I don't know what I need. Fry, on the 14th, can you please... Oh, that's so sweet. Lazarus, you're so married, man. You're, like, so married. Now, that's very sweet. You think I'm streaming on Valentine's Day? I'm gonna spend the day with my girl. Hey. Yeah, I'll stream on Valentine's Day. I got time for that. <laughs> Explain it a different way. Explain the last scene of the last episode of Game of Thrones in a different way. I'm listening, guys. <laughs> I'm not doing any damage. I ha don't have a board. I mean, I have a board, but it's just not. I don't know. It's just not. Watch him drag in here, and I still can't do anything. I can't do anything! I'm gonna lose this game on account of not being able to do anything, ever. Oh my god. Alright, we're gonna leverage the Nebula here very severely. Okay, yeah, perfect. <laughs> We need a leap. We got a leap. Bitch, you guessed it. We can ramp a lot here. He's mogging that. <laughs> the zero one. I don't know why. Not really sure why. All right, I think we're gonna be able to bonus attack this mug here and we're gonna be fine. So the play is we play zero drop here, zero drop here. We're able to mug bonus attack for 11. We're also gaining extra brains on account of this nebula. We don't even need that. We're just going to bonus attack the mug wherever it is, and that should be enough for lethal. No matter where it is. Okay, so much for that point. Uh, we are so screwed right now. We are so... Can we get Mug here, please, so we can win with the overshoot? For por favor? Por favor? God damn it! It's in the worst lane possible. It's in the lane where it does absolutely nothing. We need a break! We need one break in this game. In fact, he's doing two, three. Oh, it's not quite lethal, but we rolled a one. Can we stop rolling ones? Por favor! <laughs> We need three damage now. I don't know where... Wait, how did he kill us there? He did five and six. I totally missed something. The six damage in lane four went through. Did I? Did I just not? <laughs> we just stole for a hundred thousand turns, but we didn't have anything. Oh, 
How did he win there exactly? We had 11 health. So he did two, three, and six. I don't know what I'm smoking. We had exactly 11 health. Two plus three plus six wins. I just said, I thought we had 13. I don't know why. And that's it. This thing's great. Well, I guess it needs block and more bonus attacks. We had bonus attack, we would have won. We would 100% won with House Second Dragon. Without exactly a dragon or a brain and in there, we 100% won the game. We bonus attack, we win, and that's it. And that's it. But the answer is no. The answer is hell no. Congratulations to the 31%. Still going on YouTube. That was a great stream. That was a fantastic stream. And we went 5-3. and three. Get hit Ultimate League with this deck, guys. Just saying. But yeah, man. <laughs> what a heck of a stream. That was a great stream, man. Math is very hard. Shut up. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. That was the Grandpa Shark dude. -dude. I don't even know what man. That was the Grandpa Shark thing. This deck is way better than five and three. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Peace. This is Fry.